Hey everybody, welcome back to my plot summary series. I'm really excited to get to talk about one of my favorite animes, One Punch Man. And so, I'm going to try to talk about the plot and basic character structures without spoiling anything. So, it won't be a full in-depth review, but if there is at one point anyone who wants me to start doing reviews for these shows instead of plot summaries, let me know in the comments section and I will think about changing gears with that. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to us for more video content. But alright, let's jump right in. So I want to start with the origins of the show. One Punch Man is an ongoing Japanese superhero parody webcomic created by an author using the pseudonym One. It began publication in early 2009, but it quickly went viral, surpassing almost 8 million hits in June of 2012. The name of the series, Wanpan Man, is a play on the long-running children's character Anpan Man, and is a contraction of Wanpanchi or One Punch. A digital manga remake of the series began publication in Young Jump's web comics website in 2012. A remake for the English serialization is in the Weekly Shonen Jump digital magazine, which released in February of 2014. An anime television adaptation by Madhouse aired in Japan between October and December of 2015. It was dubbed in English during the summer of 2016, and a second season was later confirmed in September of 2016. Now we can talk about some of the awards for the show. The series was one of 10 nominated for the 7th Annual Manga Tashio Awards in 2014, and as of July 2017, the manga had 13 million copies in print. Once released in the United States, both the first and second volumes debuted in the New York Times Manga Best Sellers list, first and second place, and stayed there for about two weeks. The series was also nominated for an Eisner Award in 2015. Okay, so now let's move on to plot. The setting of One Punch Man is in an Earth-like supercontinent planet full of strange monsters and supervillains, and it has cities listed from A to Z. The story revolves around the main character, Saitama, an extremely overpowered superhero who has grown bored in the absence of challenges for his fights against evil and seeks to find a worthy opponent. Over the course of the series, One Punch Man encounters several superheroes, supervillains, and monsters. He gains a disciple named Genos and eventually joins this hero association in order to gain official recognition. So now let's start with the characters. Saitama, or One Punch Man, is our protagonist, and he's the most powerful hero alive. One Punch Man is one of my favorite characters in any anime, just because of his art style, how it ranges from incredibly detailed to just downright goofy, and then his overall personality throughout the show, it just makes it really fun to watch. Throughout his training to become the most powerful warrior, he has kind of dulled all of his other emotions and has become less and less of a normal human being. Because of his strength, even the mightiest of foes pose no threat to him, and so he starts to lose interest in being a superhero and does not take his work seriously, which leads to sort of anticlimactic endings to his fights. The next character that I'd like to talk about is Genos. He's the apprentice of One Punch Man, and he is a cyborg. Genos makes the perfect addition to One Punch Man's team because he is an extremely serious character and acts as the comic foil to One Punch Man's clueless antics. Since becoming his disciple, Genos is incredibly protective of One Punch Man and tries to discover the secrets of his power. Although there are several other characters in the show that I'd like to talk about, Shout out to Merman Rider, by the way. I don't really want to cover all of them. I want to let the people who want to watch this show discover them on their own. So the next thing and last thing I'm going to cover is the Heroes Association. The Hero Association was founded by a multimillionaire who manages all the city's heroes. He also established the National Hero Registry, which is a database that contains the names of every officially recognized hero. For any people that aren't on this registered database, they're looked at as delusional or weird because they're running around in a costume trying to fight crime, but they're not officially heroes. To join the Hero Association, they have to take a hero entrance exam, and that comprises a fitness test and a written test. Based on how well someone does in the entrance exam, they're placed in a class. It goes from S being the best, then A, B, and C. To move up in class, you have to rank to level one in whatever class you're in, and then you can choose whether or not you want to move up. Okay, so that was everything I pretty much wanted to cover for this One Punch Man plot summary. I know that this isn't a very long video, but I hope that everyone still enjoyed it, and I'm really glad that I get to talk to everyone about some of my favorite shows, and hopefully I sway some of you to start watching them. And as I said in the beginning of the video, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Please leave any likes or comments on this video, and check out some of our other content. Alright, that'll be it for me. Have a good one!